In today's video, I'll be testing this lens. It's the Tamron 28-75 2.8 G2 version. The first version of this one was actually the most sold lens at one year. So it's going to be interesting today to see how this one works out when it comes to photography. I'll be testing some close-up. It's not a macro lens. I'll be testing some portraits. I'm sorry to say it's going to be self-portraits and I'm going to try out some landscape photography. So with no further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to shoot in 2.8 and then try different focal lengths. On this lens, it's uh, marked 28, 35, 50 and 75. So that's the different focal lengths I'm going to try. And then afterwards, I'm going to change up the aperture to maybe 5.6 or f8 to get more sharpness throughout the picture. And then let's see how this lens handles that. Here we got something with less color, so let's see how the lens handles that. And it's also a little bit windy, so we can uh, kind of test how the focus is with the lens as well. By the way, I am shooting with my trusty A7 III from Sony. Uh, for me, it doesn't really matter what the brand I use, if it's Fuji or Canon or Sony. Uh, the only thing that made me buy this Sony is that I live in Norway, I live in the West and it's dark and raining all the time. So this had a reputation for being very strong in dark situations. So that was the reason I bought it. What did you think of the first series of testing? Personally, I actually, looking through the camera, I liked the 5.6 aperture instead of the 2.8. I saw a guy making a review of this lens and he actually talked about this really being a f.2 lens, not a 2.8, but it hasn't been calibrated or given the firmware to be used as a f.2. So maybe we see that a little bit in the 2.8 pictures. I don't know, I'm not a technical guy. If you are, take a look, maybe you can see it. last spot was really not a friendly place it was uh, inhabited of uh, a bunch of ants so uh, now I'm actually burning all over but what do you don't sacrifice for a video now that we've been doing some close-up photography let's go to the next one and try some portrait photography that didn't work well at all my uh, remote app that I usually use didn't work and the imaging edge that follows the Sony system did not work either. So uh, the only pictures I could take was the one that I could reach and that was 28 and 35 millimeters. And uh, I tried to look as good as I could, but uh, I'm truly sorry, uh, this is what you get. So that was it. Uh, maybe in the future I'll uh, try to uh, get someone uh, to come with me and I'll test the portrait function on this uh, camera. But at least you uh, get to see 2.8, 5.6 and kind of see the background, how it uh, looked like with the uh, bulky or the shallow depth of field uh, situation. I'm getting hungry, so uh, let's move on. It's uh, landscape next and I have to drive like a 15 minute drive and uh, uh, get to the place that I really want to show you. It's nice with a church and uh, a bay with a lot of uh, fishing houses. So uh, let's go. A beautiful bay, an old church, and we're going to test out the landscape capability of the Tamron 28 to 75 2.8. I think I'll uh, go 2.8 and then go up to f13 this time uh, to get that deeper sharpness in the photo and see how the lands land lands lands hand, handles that now my blood sugar is getting low uh, i have a yogurt there i'm gonna eat that before i take the photo uh, i'm gonna do some single shots afterwards uh, move around a little round uh, down there and take some shots and then you can uh, see how the photos are and i maybe i'm gonna do some editing so if i do i'm gonna show before and after 
today I don't use ND filter. That's what I want to use. But to test the capability of the lens straight out, straight out of the glass, I'm not using an ND filter. Because otherwise I don't think it would be like representative of the the lens's quality. That was it, the review, or I would say the show off of this uh, Tamron 28 to uh, 75 2.8G2 version. I am in no shape or form any professional. This is my first video that I make when I'm showing stuff like this. So hopefully it was in some way informative and can help you to decide if you want to uh, buy this lens. I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing to my channel for future videos and maybe take a look at my other videos. I would really appreciate it. Maybe leave a comment, hit the like button. It's all up to you. My name is Chris. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.